Hi, I'm John Carpenter. I'm a movie director, and I compose the scores for most of my films. I'm in my Hollywood home studio with the folks from Korg. For me, uh, the music started everything. When my dad was a music teacher, and I grew up at an early age with music around the house. But then I discovered movies and, uh, and soundtracks, and I went to film school in the late 60s to study cinema, and uh, I carried the love of music with me. When you're uh, a student filmmaker or a low-budget filmmaker, what you have to do is make the best with no money. In other words, you have to uh, get by with very little budget. So I began scoring in student films with my friends' movies that I'd do some music for them. And then with my early uh, low-budget films, I scored my own movies because I could, using a synthesizer, I could sound big. In the tour that uh, we're going to be starting, about uh, 70 to 75 percent of the show is movie scores from my old films, and 20 to 25 percent is new music from the new out from the new album. And we're going to start back with Assault and Precinct 13, and we'll go back through some of the themes that hopefully the audience uh, will remember and love. Right here in the, uh, the, this home studio, Lost Themes was born. My son Cody and I, we began to improvise music over a period of months. And we came up with what we called at the time a soundtrack sampler. And what it was, was little snippets of score for movies that didn't really exist. And we compile almost 60 minutes of, of music. And uh, my son went to Japan to teach English, so here I was sitting around, and I got a new music attorney. And the music attorney said to me, do you have anything new? And I said, yeah, I'll send you this, uh, this stuff that my son and I did. And a couple months later, we had a record deal. And this was nothing to this business. Well, major influences on, on my music have to go back to the classical Hollywood composers. Bernard Herrmann and Dimitri Tiomkin are two big ones, but even the low-budget uh, composers of the 50s that did the horror films, I, I love all, all those. In terms of electronic music, I have to say, the granddaddy of all uh, electronic scores is from Forbidden Planet, a movie made in 1956 by the Barons. Uh, they, they scored with an entirely electronic score. There was no orchestral. And that movie transformed me. I was eight years old when I saw it. A, a movie score is really about mood. It's about uh, supporting the images in, in, in a particular scene or film. Uh, but I've always been somewhat of a riff-driven composer, so I love uh, rock and roll. I love the Stones and the Beatles and the Doors and all, all the, the classic rock groups. My very first Korg was a O1W which I had when I, we were running a house up on Woodrow Wilson Drive. This was while uh, this place was, was being renovated. And I composed the theme for In the Mouth of Madness on that chord, and it was great. So then I moved on to uh, the uh, Trinity, and I loved it. It was just an astonishing synthesizer. And I graduated to uh, the Triton, which is the granddaddy of all great synths. I mean, there's nothing like it. And the Kronos is a recent recent uh, visitor to my uh, collection here in, in the studio, and I love playing it. It's just awesome. There is one sound in, in the Triton that uh, I've never heard anyplace else. It's called a ribbon morpher. It's a deep bass sound. And when any uh, particular song is not quite working, I put the ribbon morpher in, and I'm all set.